So the amp hour and the watt hour, they refer to a specific quantity of, of something, right? Whereas the volts, the amps and the power, they are at a very instant. The volts, amps and the power at this very moment have so many volts, so many amps or so many watts. The amp hour or the watt hour refer to a specific quantity and it relates to a time frame, right? So therefore you see that the amp hour or AH, uh, which is described as the cumulative flow of current, also has the, the hour value in the, the unit described. And the same is for the watt hours, so the watts hours or WH is the cumulative flow of electrical energy. So the cumulative flow of electrical energy with reference to a specific time frame. So I think I can best explain this again by going to the whiteboard and I want to give you two specific examples, two specific calculation examples of what could happen in your daily life. So we are going to charge your phone and we are going to charge your electric vehicle. Uh, this will take a few minutes and I will give you a few numbers of calculations. If you're not interested in numbers, then maybe you need to skip through this section. So we start off by charging your phone and we know it takes four hours for your phone to charge right so you're charging your phone for a total duration of four hours and we also know that you're charging your phone with a charger that provides a current of three amps so during four hours you're charging your phone with three amps and we know that the voltage with which you are charging your phone so the electrical pressure is five volts five volts of electrical pressure three amps of electrical current of a flow of energy for a total duration of four hours. Okay, so we know that we can calculate the power by multiplying the voltage times current. Voltage times current is power. So we take five times three, right? Five volt times three amps is 15 watts. So we know that we are providing a total power towards your phone of 15 watts. Then we're going to calculate the, the watt hours that we are putting in your phone, putting in your battery, right? So the watt hours, you get the watt hours by multiplying the watts times the hours. So we just calculated you are providing a power of 15 watts to the phone. You're doing it for four hours and therefore you are supplying a total amount of electrical energy of 60 watt hours to your phone. So over the duration of four hours, you have supplied 60 watt hours of electrical energy to your phone, to your battery. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. Now, since we just talked about the difference between watt hours and amp hours, I also want to show you a different way how you can get to the same conclusion, to the same end result, but through a, a different approach, right? So we want to know what the total amount of electrical energy is that you are putting in the battery of your phone during a typical charging cycle. So let's approach it from a different way. Let's say we are going to take the amp hour route. So in order to get the amp hours, you take the current in amps times the time in hours, right? So we know that we're charging the phone with three amps. We know that we're doing it for four hours. So three times four equals 12 amp hours, right? So the amp hour rate going into your phone is 12 amp hours. Then in order to get the, uh, the total amount of watt hours going into your phone, you take the amp hours that we just calculated 12 and you multiply it by the, the electrical voltage, by the electrical pressure that you're charging your phone with, which is 5. So 12 times 5 equals 60, which is identical to what we just calculated before, right? So those are two different ways in which you can calculate the total amount of electrical energy that you're putting into the battery of your phone during a typical charge cycle. So I think you understand this by now. Let me give you another example where we're going to do something similar, but now we're going to charge your electric vehicle. Because similar to your phone, electric vehicle also has a battery that you're also charging. And the same principle applies to charging the electrical battery of your vehicle as to the battery of your phone. So we want to calculate during a specific charge cycle what the total amount of electrical energy is that we have put into the battery of your vehicle. So this vehicle is charging for a total amount of two hours. It is a very steady, very constant uh, charging cycle. And during the charging, we are feeding a total amount of voltage of 400 volts uh, into your battery. 
and we also know we have measured that it's um, being charged with 40 amps so now we can take these three values the two hours the 40 amps and the 400 volts and throw it into our calculation so let's say that we want to calculate the the power rate at which we are charging your batteries right so we the power is the voltage times the current so 400 times 40 amps so 400 volt times 40 amps equals 16,000 watts so the power with which you, we are charging your uh, car your vehicle is 16,000 watts or you can also express that as 16 kilowatts right the k the kilo just stands for 1000 and now we say okay that's nice i know the the power with which i'm charging my battery now i want to know the the total amount of electrical energy that i've uh, charged my battery with right so we take the 16000 watt of the power rating we multiply it by the 2 hours and then we know that during this charge cycle the 2 hours 40 amps and 400 volts we have charged a total amount of electrical energy. We have put a total amount of electrical energy of 32 kilowatt hours or 32,000 watt hours into the battery of your vehicle. And now let's do the same as we did with the previous exercise when we were charging your phone. Now let's calculate the total amount of electrical energy that we're putting into your battery in a, through a different approach. Instead of using the watt hours, we're using the amp hours. So the amp hours is the current times the time. Right, so we're charging your vehicle with 40 amps. We're doing that for two hours. So the amp hour rate is 80 amp hours going into the battery of your vehicle. Then if we want to uh, calculate the, the watt hours, so the total amount of electrical energy that we have put into your vehicle during the complete charging cycle, we take the amp hours, 80, and we multiply it by the voltage, voltage with which we are charging your vehicle, 400, and the result is 32 kilowatt hours or 32,000 watt hours, which is the same as what we calculated before in the second step. So that was just a bit of a fun.